Hello, my name is Luke Munt. I'm a digital coach supervisor with our educational technology team. Today I'm going to show you how to create a course for students to be in for a grade level course or whatever manually creative course you want. You want every student in your school um, in a course. You want just your juniors in a course or just your seventh graders in a course. This is a great way to do this with the bulk upload. So the very first thing I need to do is I need to create a course here. This has to be done by a school leader, so only school leaders will have the creative course and the bulk upload team. So I'm gonna do this for just West High School here. I'm gonna make a, a course here, and it does take a little bit of time with the courses. So I'm gonna go class of 2025 for this one here. Then I need to create a course code, and this code needs to be very unique. If you just have some numbers in there, your course code might conflict with some of your other courses that come from uh, from um, from Infinite Campus. So right in here, I'm going to put in something very unique. So I'm going to go like 2025 West. Now I'm just going to keep putting this information down in here because this is a very unique identifier, and that's going to help us with our upload. So instead of section one, that's too generic. I want Schoology to be able to understand what course I'm trying to drop in all of these kids. I'm just going to keep going just the same 2025 West. It does not matter that these are all the same. They just need to be some unique thing and it really helps to have letters in with your course code um, because letters are not used in Infinite Campus. Then I'm just going to go subject area other. This is for freshmen here. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this, and I'm going to choose uh, an availability of the periods. So this takes a little bit to, to get everything loaded, but I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, and I'm going to go school G grading period for this. So you can see this is going to be available for 2025, which is great because this is the class of 2025. Say though I want my classes to be new every year, so I want a new seventh grade class. You then will just scroll up here a little bit more and you can find the grading period that's just for this year. So if I wanted to have like sixth, seventh, and eighth grade courses for just this year, I would give them the grading period of this, uh, which is the current school year. And at the end of the school year, those courses would then be all archived and I would make new ones again for the next year. But since this is from high school and hopefully most of these freshmen will be here for the next four years, um, we can just make those small changes instead of making new ones every single year. So I'm going to go create here. It's going to generate that and it automatically makes me an admin in the member. So you can see this. This is then where I'm going to add in other admins from my other uh, from my other staff. So this is where I would add in assistant principals, deans, counselors, um, any teachers that do that. If there's a teacher advisor for your seniors or if there's a team lead that works with your seventh graders, this is where you would add them in here and make sure that you give them the admin roles um, so that they stay in the course and have that admin, um, admin ability. So now I need to be able to get my students in here. So I'm going to switch over and I have a Google Sheet. This Google Sheet here you can see has different information that I've pulled from Infinite Campus. That's usually the easiest way to do this. You can also pull this information from um, Principal Portal. So the biggest categories that we have here then are the unique user ID, that's student ID, then student name, and then our course code, section code, and enrollment type. These are the required ones here as unique uh, ID, course code, section code, and enrollment type. The enrollment type here you can see is just student. Okay, so this is gonna make everybody just a regular user. If you wanted to put in here your teachers, you can, but that's just easier to do through members as I just showed you. And then right here for course code, I'm gonna type in that unique ID that we had and you know what I'm just going to use the same one here so I'm going to drag this over and this is going to be for my entire sheet so I'm going to drag this all the way down to the bottom and make it so that every single student then has that section number and that course code to do it now I need to download this as what we call a CSV file. So I'm going to go File here in Google Sheets. I'm going to go Download 
and then you can see this comma separated values or a CSV file. This is the type of file that you're going to do to get your information into Schoology. So I'm going to download this here. See it downloads. Now I can come back to Schoology and uh, bulk upload my students. So I'm going to come to Tools, School Management here. And then I'm going to go Course Enrollment. So I already made the course. Now I'm just adding it in. You can see the then the information that I needed. So it's required to have a course code. I need to have a section code. Obviously the unique student ID um, here. I'm going to then add in my file that I just created here. My enrollment type I already put in the spreadsheet, so I don't need to change this. Again, I just had everybody as a student. My um, Grading periods are already set for the course and everything, so this is really great. Um, I'm going to start the students over as fresh right here, so I'm just going to have um, all of my students uploaded. I'm going to go continue. I need to match the columns here, double check everything is good. So enrollment type, unique user ID. Sometimes it doesn't pull out the exact same thing, so you might need to change this to some of your other headers from the spreadsheet that you uploaded. But that looks good and then it's going to do a review now sometimes you will come in here and you will see a red dot and it's going to have errors that means it's not going to go and you need to have something changed so that most oftentimes is going to be your course code or section code make sure again that those are very unique names all the way down and then that you have the unique student ids and everything uh, ready as well so we want to see this green dot that looks great and I'm ready to go. It's gonna upload all of these students for the class of 2025. I'm gonna go run. It then says it's gonna be queued. This usually goes pretty fast unless you're doing a very large amount of students. So I'm gonna go back to my course then and check to have everybody there. And voila, all of my members are there. So it worked. That's how I create my class for all or course for all of my students in an entire grade level or entire school. And this is really great for disseminating a lot of information for our students on a very targeted way. Enjoy. If you have any questions, reach out to your digital coach.